how are you guys instagram how are you i'll look for a way to get this on facebook i know most of the followers are there how are you guys i am actually um i was in the middle of you know some running some errands and doing my work and i had this sudden urge you know uh i was reflecting actually being thankful to god as you know we're gonna be launching the rookie Penial magazine tomorrow yes so yes so yes so yes so i was in the middle of my day work and i was you know just meditating and being thankful thinking how far god has brought me how faithful god has been and um i just remember the situation a few years ago some years ago almost about 10 years ago i was through, going through a very dark time very hard time just like someone you're watching me that's why i'm going live without even planning to i believe god wants you to hear this word of encouragement you're going through a very dark tunnel you're going through a, a situation where People may have gathered together to conspire against you and they were wait and they are waiting to hear that you are down, that you are out, or you are ashamed. And they are waiting for people to say, Oh, sorry, come pity you. I'm telling you, it will not stand. It will not stand. From what happened to me, that's what I was just thinking now. That when I was going through this, I remember God speaking to me through Isaiah 8. That do not fear their fear. These were powerful people. You know, it was a professional uh, relationship. These are really powerful and very wealthy. There's no way, no way on earth I could have come out of that situation not smelling smoke. No way. And I remember that what came to me. Hi, Oluwate Mitope. Please share the video. Invite as many as you can. It's just for a few minutes, but I know this is a word of encouragement. The word of encouragement is that do not be afraid. You will not be ashamed. Anyone projecting shame towards you, any, anyone projecting frustration towards you, just wait for it. It's going to go back to their camp. So this thing happened. It lasted maybe almost a year, uh, but thank God I didn't give up on God. I trusted God. It was a very hard time. It was a very dark time. But you know what happened? When everything rolled over blew away i was standing not only was i standing i was standing in a way better higher place hope now went to the world shout out to hope now families watching this and um, a few years later everything they were trying to do to me turned back on their camp so they are the ones that virtually almost all the world is feeling sorry for now and said oh wow that's such 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 a shame how could this happen how could that happen to them and i also was feeling bad you know how it is you totally forget uh, who was an enemy to you because you you never thought of them like that. Somebody who was part of that conspiracy came to me and said, you know, this is what these people were planning and this is what happened and see what's happening to them now. And I looked, I said, wow, God is so merciful. God is so, so, so faithful. I'm speaking to someone this afternoon. It looks like your enemies have the upper hand. They don't. God has the hand. Let me, let me, let me read this to you. And I'm going to speak prophetically to that situation. Be shattered. I'm reading from Isaiah 8. I'm starting from verse 9. Be shattered, all you peoples, and be broken in pieces. Give here, all you from far countries. Guard yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Guard yourselves, but be broken in pieces. I'm speaking against every conspiracy against you. Verse 10. Take counsel together, but it will not come to anything. It will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand. For God is with us. God is with you, child of God. God is with you, good man and good woman. No matter what they have conspired against you, God is turning it around against them. Believe him. Believe me. The Bible says, believe the Lord your God, you'll be established. Believe his prophet, you will prosper. Fear the Lord alone. Don't be afraid of what they are doing or what it looks like is happening or, or what it looks like happening, you know, uh, to the contrary against you. is a lie. It's going to blow away just that, just like that situation blew away for me and made a room for brighter day and more sunshine and a higher level. That's what's going to happen to you. This battle you're going through, this problem you're going through, this turmoil you're going through this tunnel you're going through is bringing you to a better place is bringing you to a higher place is bringing you to a place of of, of prosperity and peace is bringing you to a place of even greater confidence in yourself and in god that's what i can tell you that god why god wants you to hear this today i was in the middle of my work and I felt the Holy Spirit telling me that there's someone that needs this word. They are conspiring against you or they've conspired against you. And, you, and it looks like they're having the upper hand. Don't give up. Don't be afraid. Just wait. Let this thumb blow away. This is the sign that God sees you and God is fighting for you. Even if 
you did something in error and they are capitalizing on that to try and shame you, to try and put you into trouble, to try and discredit you, is rolling over now in the name of Jesus. It's blowing over. That evil wind is blowing over. And those who are gathering against you, conspiring against you, it will blow over back to them. Anything they project towards you is coming back to them. They wish you dead. If they don't repent, they will be the one buried in the name of Jesus. They wish you poor. They wish you disgraced. Is coming back to their camp. And I'm speaking to you as God gave me that instruction to go live. I didn't, I didn't plan to. Let me read to you verse 11 and 12 and then we'll stop. He said, for the Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand and he instructed me that I should not walk in the way of these people saying, do not say a conspiracy child of God to what they are saying, a conspiracy. Don't be afraid of their threats. Don't be troubled. Verse 13, the Lord of hosts is with you. He alone shall you hallow. He alone shall you fear and let him be your dread. He will be a sanctuary for you. Even now, the peace of God be upon you. The mercy of God open doors of favor for you and he will be a stone of stumbling for your enemies, for anything that's working against you. He will be a rock of offense to them in the name of Jesus. I'm sure God wanted you to hear this word, child of God, to encourage you and tell you, rise up from that bed of affliction, rise up from that situation. This is the sign that God is with you. Even though everything looks against you right now, you will return and you'll share the testimony in Jesus' name. The tables have turned and your enemies are the ones that are receiving now the reward of what they have, they have done against you or they are doing against you. The storm is over, child of God. Join us tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. I'm so excited. We're getting ready to launch. Ta-da! Rookie Peniel Magazine. It will be powerful. It will be a fun time. There's giveaway. There's a lot of things happening tomorrow afternoon. Join us. Love you, family. And remember, the storm is over. The favor of God is upon you. And the tables have turned against every contrary wind and enemies and conspiracy of the enemy. In Jesus' name. Love you.